Hi again. Why do you... have we spoken? Well, from a purely classical causal viewpoint, no. Uh, multiversally speaking, mm-hmm. Listen, if you want me to have a sore head, you're too late. Dr. Ubel's foul mouth rot gun has already seen to that. Will you help me scare the pink elephant off? Have we talked about that already? Funny, I can't remember that at all. No matter. It's gone already! I don't mean now, but... <laughs> Earlier. You want me to help? <laughs> I've got exact my strategy? Well, the trick in... Huh? How am I... Let me worry about that. With pleasure. I've got more than enough worries of my own. I'll find a way to make you remember. The only question is how. Um, the only one? Let me worry about that. With pleasure. I've got more than enough worries of my own. Stay verdict. Draw me. And... Wow! Bullseye! That's won you the darts championship. Here, take the first prize. Prize? Oh boy! What is it? A power inverter. <laughs> Great. Nope, doesn't fit. Wrong number of connections. Hey, that could fit, but which way around? Nah, whatever. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Chill bot mode! Just lean back and enjoy the cool atmosphere. Hey, got it on the first try. I'm obviously on a winning streak. Uh, thanks, man. That was real. Huh. What we need here is a suitable container. Ah! No, that's locked in place. Oh, great, they just fell into the grill. I'll never get the potato cooled down like this. Da! 
Ouch! That cursed tuber is still glowing hot. I'll have to cool it down somehow. Everything on red. But Rufus, if you want to play, all you need is an opponent. And then maybe some plasters for the bite wounds. And that's supposed to be a game? Sounds like my relationship with Tony. Stubborn ice cubes just won't melt. <laughs> Professor Rufus presents the Miracle of Heat Exchange. That's a little greasy, but otherwise, still quite usable. Do you want to save some for later? No thanks. There's lots, lots more where that came from. <coughs> Do you want to save some for later? No thanks. There's lots, lots more where that came from. I don't need to pack that up for later. Now or never. That's my motto. <laughs> I just remembered the coolest joke about that. But it's so old it has a beard of its own. That's a little greasy, but otherwise, I could just pig out on looking at potatoes all day. <laughs> Except that I can't really. It's the latest thing. What's that? A tinfoil hat. It'll help you remember. Then leave it where it is. I... 
drink to forget. I don't want you to remember the past, just the future. Uh, sounds like a change of strategy. As I have absolutely no future anyhow, it can't get any worse. That's the spirit. But if it's all the same to you, I'll use my own. Sure, of course. I would too if I put... Whoa, 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 wait a minute! What? You had a tinfoil hat with you the whole time? Must have been a flash of divine inspiration. I do so love nibbling the wrap off Matt's best bottles. I did, however, line it with straw in order to... I get it. You had a tinfoil hat. All that work for nothing. How incredibly hilarious. You see me wiping tears of laughter from my crow's feet. Can we finally move along here? Be my guest. But with what? Now, I don't want to bore you with details. Just remember this one thing. If history repeats itself, try to stop that pink elephant somehow. Yeah, okay. Why not? It's the least I can do. I think so, too. Hey, Mac, do you have a minute? Given the context, I'll take that as a yes. Do we want to turn back to... I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. Are you sure you're well prepared this time? You realize everything that... Right. Let's... I hate repeat... Hey, Mac, do you have a... Given the con... I'll take the... Do we want to turn... I don't... It seems... Are you... Sh you real... Whatever. The main thing... Well, yes. But perhaps with a... Too late! Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> Here we go again. Rufus? Are you there? Where else? Shall we have another go? <laughs> I can hardly wait. Come on. 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 Turn now. A little more to the right. Careful, a sweet wombat. Back a little. Dodge the vultures. Forward a bit. And stop. Perfect. Are you sure that I can leave it here? 100%. Whew. Then the timeline is probably intact again. That means... What is that? I'm receiving strange values. Values? What are you talking about? No idea. I... Rufus! Quack! It's here! Hurry! Tuck! What? Burnett has already closed up? Ah, uh, I wanted emergency flares in case my... I hope his problems with reverse gear are limited to spatial dimensions. I don't think so. I've already created enough shards today. If Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? Not without bubble wrap. No one should ever accuse me of not learning from experience. I don't think so. I've already created enough.
What happened? The pink elephant. It was here. I wrestled with it. For a short while, I felt I was winning. But then, it disappeared into the ground. If anything's disappearing around here, it's your grip on reality. But you saw it, too. I'm not so sure anymore. Maybe it was all just my imagination. Well, your imagination has a really hard left hook. I know. But enough of that. The glasses are safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. I'll go get Tony, and then we're out of here. I fear things will turn out different. I sure hope so. He's coming! Every and then I don't want May Tetanus be with us. Not now, Jack-o-lantern. And... Hip. Oh, sorry, miss. What? No way. I did everything exactly the same as last time. Well, it's not easy to reproduce a great game just like that. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. And... Hip. Oh, sorry. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. <sighs> Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, why not? What? No cynical comment? No doubt? And not today. I've just about had enough of this. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pack my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing did happen to the glasses. What do you mean, this time? Well, that's that's nothing you need to worry your pretty head about. The main thing is the glasses are safe and sound, right? Yeah, that would be better for you. Much better. Well, this is going to be one fun balloon trip. <laughs> ah, shut your pie hole. I'll just leave that right where it is, no matter how hard. Hey, Rufus. Hey, Lonzo. What's new? Nothing. Just more of the same old thing. Eh, thanks. I'll pass. Hey, keep your hands off. Those are the darts championship winnings. In my dream, I was constantly playing around with these things. But there, I had to build the first one myself. I'm obviously already deviating from the script of destiny. Uh, now would have been the perfect time for one of those dum dum dums Hey, Lotto. Call! <laughs> so you're really a lady now? Why? What's... <coughs> Did I say there was anything wrong with that? On the contrary, congratulations on this bold step. You know, to be honest, I've... You calling me f What? No! Oh, sorry. I just feel so insecure. Don't worry. Big steps have always been your trademark. Hey, it'll be totally awesome if... Oh, it would be... Sure, as long... <laughs> uh, let me think. You don't have a bust. Rufus, it's very... Could be, but where would Lotto... Put your hand on your heart and tell me it's not half a dirty turnip too close. Mm. 
Maybe I should. I've been constricted. <coughs> Here. Is there anything else? Your legs are. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you're right. Huh. It's a good job I haven't thrown my razor away yet. Darn, that hurts! Good job! Hang in there! Oh, oh. I feel for you, buddy! What? <laughs> Cry, baby. Is there anything else? I think you're fine. Oh. Could you lend me your razor? Not while I still... Although, I would... Right. Toodle uh, uh, In my room, I actually do have bottles which are already growing their own hair. Damn! Hurry up! So, you got something to say to me? Uh, on to Elysium? I mean, about broken glass. Sheesh! Broken glass? <laughs> it uh, brings good luck, no? You mean, like the luck of having a completely intact lower jaw? Gonna have to disappoint you there. Ouch! Tony! I'm disappointed in you, Rufus. I always thought you'd be the one to bring a breath of fresh air into this dump. But... I got it all wrong. You make the same mistakes again and again and again! It was entertaining the first two or three times. But where's Thin by the fourth? Have a great time with your next attempt to reach Elysium, Rufus. If you need me. I'll be with my dad. And for one last time, keeping the fire extinguisher on standby. Tony! Wait! Damn it! All because of that damned elephant again. Where's Tuck anyway? He was supposed to keep an eye on things. You just can't trust anyone for anything around here anymore. There they are, the shards of a dysfunctional relationship. Was it really too much to ask for you to prevent this debacle, Kowalski? I've no idea how this could have happened. I think that elephant is just too darn clever for us. Ah, hogwash. They haven't hatched the elephant that could put one over on old Rufus. Hey, Rufus! Not now, Macomb Pickle. I have other things on my mind. Bit of girlfriend trouble? Ex-girlfriend. Thanks for that. Oh, jeez, Louise. And that's my fault? Uh, exactly. Because it wouldn't have happened otherwise. Oh, dear. That's just so wrong. Don't worry. I have a new plan that should iron out this damned crease in time once and for all. Why? What are you planning? I think we went at the whole thing ass backwards. This is a crime scene. There have to be clues, traces. With my criminological skill and your Watson ability, we'll have this case solved before the elephant can say, <coughs> Have you started yet? Of course. Aren't you paying attention? Uh, yes, of course. Didn't you want to show us something? Uh, did I? Keywords. Clue hunt. Hey, I'm the keyword giver here. Please, let's not stick around here for too long. That elephant could still be close by. I sure hope so. I'll put a knot in its trunk so that it never forgets what happens when you mess with Rufus. It is definitely still here. I'm completely certain now. Whatever you saw there, 
is traveling through time. So that's why it's always one step ahead of us. Or behind. Difficult to say. I think I'm feeling sick again. Drink up, Tuck. Time to hunt elephant. Hmm? Strange. The shard glows here. Really? Then there's got to be a radiation source close by. Wait. Well, hello there. Aha! Uh -huh. Elephant skin. As far as I know, elephants don't shed their skins. Yeah, yeah. First you refused to believe in pink elephants, and now all of a sudden you're an expert. Well, to me, that just looks like an ordinary bit of cloth. And the mysterious glow? My guess is tachyon radiation. It happens when matter is moved backwards through time. I'm measuring traces of it in the whole area here, and the broken shard has shifted it into the visible spectrum. Look, if I wanted a lecture, I'd buy myself a ticket for the university. There are no tickets to get to university, merely the numerous classes. Right. And on Junker's Eve, he comes flying over the roofs, bringing gifts. I mean, if that's the kind of crap you teach your students... Wait a minute. Did you say traces? Did I say that? Yes, of course. We can use the shard to make the tatzel worm radiation visible. Come on. I have an idea.
Ha! A secret lever! Gentlemen, I present... The secret... Elephant hideout! Okay, seriously, Mac, how do you always do that da 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 thing? Huh? Dab whatever. There are more important secrets to reveal. Stay behind me. Wow. That must be the remains of the abandoned mall. Emphasis on abandoned. Exactly. There's no one here. Let's go. One moment. You see that tunnel there? The specimen has used it, and it wasn't that long ago. Then maybe it's still here. Hurrah. The Bull Elephant Hideout is a china shop. Talk about your pseudo-poetic nonsense. Oh, how sweet! <laughs> hey, how cool is that? Not yet. I'm gonna find that destructive bloody elephant. If it's the last thing I do, <laughs> Talk about ridiculous. Not yet. I'm gonna find that to if it's the last Let's go. I'll go this way. McChronicle, you take the other path. And what about me? Yeah, you guard the entrance. What? Alone? Am I at least gonna be given a weapon? What kind of weapon? Well, any weapon. I've been beaten up enough for one day. I don't want to distract them. They should be completely focused on our mission. Hmm, no clues to be... I think I would have noted. The shard is glowing continuously now. He has to be here. And... I am slowly realizing that I really have to be elsewhere, urgently. Oh yeah? Your family waiting for you? Or do you have to get up early tomorrow? Ouch, Rufus. Ouch. The shard is... He ha... Oh yeah, or... Ouch. He seems nervous. He's not going sober on me now, just when I need him the most, is he? It's so spooky here. Aha! Uh -huh. Uncannily exciting. Bit too exciting for my taste. Stay close, please, okay? McChronicle is really going for it. Tuck has his work cut out for him if he wants to be employee of the month. The signal is getting weaker. We need to hurry if we're to nab your phantom elephant. Typical. As soon as he gets rash, it's all of a sudden my phantom elephant. Ready, Mac? Yes, I am. But... I am not staying here alone. Not without a weapon to defend myself with. You know, if, if the worst happens. Ready, Mac? Yes, I am. But... I am not staying here alone, not without a weapon to defend myself with, you know, if, if the world. Uh, don't be too hard on him. He's a good lad. He is not. You only like him because he's your best customer. Oh, he, he normally just puts everything on your tab. Uh, talking of which, how's your store doing? <sighs> Ding dong. Am I uh, interrupting by any chance? No, you do it on purpose. Kid gloves, Rufus. <laughs> I don't want naked flames in my store. Don't worry, Bernard. I'm, uh, I'm, ca I'm, you know, I'm thingy. Uh, uh, careful? 
Uh, no, the other one. Burnett finally got a new shipment. Why didn't he tell me? Ah, a well-functioning faucet. Uh, Rufus, do you think you could stop pouring accelerant into the basement of my fireworks shop? I store highly explosive stuff down there. <sighs> if I have to. No one should ever say I'm uncooperative. Rufus, you can't simply dismantle the tap from that tank of accelerant. Sure I can, look! But now it's all pouring into the basement. Ah, oh boy. You know, it seemed like such a good idea at the start. But no problem. I can fix this. You have an angle grinder. Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, just leave it for the moment. I'll sort it out later. You're on fire, Burnett. Letterbox Death 420 Light. Whatever happened to good old Letterbox Death 400? I hope they haven't released the amount of black powder inside again. I have to check that out for now. I'll bring it back once Burnett is done mopping up. Letterbox Death 420 Light. Whatever happened to good old Letterbox Death 400? I hope they haven't released the amount of black powder. I have to check that out for Oh, if only I could turn back the hands of time. <laughs> that is, wait a minute. I can! Rufus won, fate nothing. Hey, Tony. <sighs> it wasn't me. Oh, really? So you didn't swap my toothpaste for shoe polish? Oh, so that's toothpaste. Or the cake for the Schwinowitz wedding for a foam glue replica? Again, not me. Or the bear trap in the refrigerator. Was that someone else, too? No, that was me. Someone had to do something about the mysterious cake exchange. And your theory was that a bear was raiding our refrigerator at night. And he sold your diary to Wenzel. Precisely. And I'm sure the glasses are the bear's fault, too, right? No, no. That really wasn't me. So who was it? It was a pink elephant. <sighs> I'm not sure what's more disappointing, that you broke the glasses or that you aren't even making the slightest effort with your excuses. This is all McChronicle's fault. Who the heck is McChronicle? Some guy with a time machine. I'm jealous. Could you ask him to turn time back so that I don't have to listen to you lie anymore? Well, Tuck was supposed to watch out. You let a hobo look after my most valuable possession? Well, at least he knows all about glasses, right? Ah! The pink elephant really exists! Uh, Rufus? I could see you're trying very hard to smooth things over, but, uh, could I suggest that you keep quiet about the elephant story for now? You're just making it worse. Yeah, it may appear that way to a layman. In reality, I'm just taking a run-up. I blame society! You blame society for breaking my grandma's glasses? Oh, oh, that's what this is all about. I thought we were talking about adolescent attention spans. It's your own fault. Excuse me? You heard me. Who comes up with the bright idea to build a pyramid of crystal glasses in the middle of the street? Don't change the subject. That's as lame an excuse as why are they called fire dogs then? Or why build a junior school next to a hardware store? Playing the blame game won't solve the problem. Just like you. Don't you think you're exaggerating a little? I mean, that really wasn't the worst thing I've ever done. The problem is not so much what you did this time, but more the fact that you keep doing it again and again and again. You just never learn. And what's worse is that it's rubbing off on me. I'm making the same mistake over and over, too. Thinking that overalls flatter your figure? Forgiving you! Oh. Oh. The fact of the matter is, our relationship is going round in circles. You're going round in circles. I did once think you were utterly unique. Someone who was really different. But at some point... 
The constant stream of you trashing completely functional things becomes just another one of those things. The glasses weren't all that great anyhow. You almost never get them out. And they've gone a little milky. I could say the same thing about your eyeballs. I'll let you talk if you let me smash them. Say something, Bernard. I'm afraid you're on your own there, buddy. <laughs> but no sweat. You'll do just fine. True. If reconciliation was a martial art, I'd have more black belts than a menswear store. <laughs> you sure have training. Does that mean you're not coming to Elysium with me? There's no way we'd get there anyway. Since we've been together, the success rate of your ingenious plans has been the only constant in my life. A straight zero. But I'm gradually beginning to miss my old constants. Like the number of walls I own, for instance. Originally, four. Or the number of hours a day that the kitchen was not on fire. That used to be 24. Now you're being unfair. You still have lots of constants. Five fingers, two legs, two parents. Okay. Now you're really scaring me. I'll straighten this all out, and then you'll apologize. Not this time, Rufus. I'm fed up with going to the mayor for you. Tony obviously inherited her temperament from her mother. I hope the rest comes from Vernon, except for the ears, teeth, and tendency towards premature hair loss. There, it wouldn't hurt if there were a third player on the field. <laughs> Might be a good idea for you to talk to Tony. I don't particularly want to be accused of being in cahoots with you against her again. Yeah, she can be a real handful when she's like this. Oh, she's got that from her mother. What are you two whispering about? Oh, uh, nothing, darling. <laughs> uh, I was just pointing out to Rufus that I don't approve of his behavior towards you. Hmm, traitor. <laughs> Sorry, you know what she's like? Can't you put in a good word for me? Or maybe threaten her with house arrest? Please, Rufus. <laughs> Don't drag me into this. What are you two whispering about? Oh, uh, nothing, darling. <laughs> Can't you put in a good word for me? Please. What are you... Oh, uh, nothing. Another espresso. That last one was pretty exhausting. Huh, I hope I don't have to brew it. That last one. What's going on? Why aren't you playing? We haven't learned that song off by heart yet. And without light, we... Then why not... Hmm, our hit... Rudy's dental work went wrong! <laughs> oh, please don't. I've already had... Still... Hey! Do you think that I suffer from ear protection? and I don't even have any cactus bread with me. As if I hadn't used enough honeyed words on Lottie already. So you want to be a rat man? Then I have just the thing for you. So, how does that feel? Silly. At all. Exactly. So please behave accordingly. 
Come on, rat man. Let's play like men. I'm ready if you are. Well then, let the games begin. Do you have someone to play against? Uh, of course, this adult rat man here. That's not allowed. It's a game for adults. I am an adult. Precisely. You can tell by the thick beard. You forget that I've been standing next to you the whole time? That is not his beard. What could be more masculine than stealing a stranger's beard? I say he plays. You can't go over my head and decide that. Have you looked in the mirror lately? Uh, to be honest, it's a bit high up for me. <sighs> okay. He can play. Oh, boy! Uh, I, I mean... Oh, man. On your marks. Rotten fruit at the ready. And... Place! Well now, Rufus has won. Wait, I demand a rematch. Ha! <laughs> Forget it! If I remember correctly, children aren't even allowed to play. And I just happen to know that behind this admittedly rather convincing costume hides a small, ugly boy. Hey! Hey, nothing. Rules are rules. Bring on the jackpot! <laughs> Whoopsie. That was on purpose. Oh, just you wait. Ouch. That stupid rat ate my hunting license. Oh, what bad luck. That was my last. Bad luck? Maybe. In any case, the rat man smiled knowingly. His work here was done. This monster ate my hunting license. Just wait. This monster ate just... Where's the emetic when you need it? Well then? What? Uh, but there aren't any more... Doesn't matter. <sighs> On your... And... We have a... It's a put up the rat. Maybe. But I demand... <laughs> I'm beating. Yeah, you just... Well, then... What? But there are... Does... On... And... Hey, what's going on? <laughs> what are you laughing at? Nothing, nothing. On the contrary, you wear it like a man, rat man. The bees have obviously been busy. Most unusual.
Hey, where did the rat boy go? And what is this stately rat man doing here? <laughs> yeah, stop with the stupid laugh already and answer my question, rat man. Come on, rat man. Let's play. Hey, does that mean I can have a rematch? No, it doesn't mean that. The next game won't count. Oh. The barbecues go out whenever I get close. <gasps> that can only mean one thing. I'm even cooler than I thought. The bees have obviously been busy. Most unusual. Maybe this will help with your leg hair. Hmm. It's worth a try. Ah! What pain! What agony! Hey, when you're done acting like a sissy, can I borrow your razor? Here! Ah! Here! Take it! I don't need it anymore. Unless I can feel my legs again anyway. Lady shave. Huh, that should have worked. Lady shave. Huh. Hey, Lotto. Call. <laughs> Let me have another look at you. Maybe I can think of something. Be complete. I think you're fine. Oh. Right. Uh, oh, <laughs> I meant, of course, Tunnelo! Now hold still. What? Hey, stop! So, how does that feel, Rat Boy? <laughs> What happened to Rat Man? A lot of people ask that question. He was only in town for a short while, and was gone as quick and as quiet as he came. But his brief presence left deep teeth marks in their hearts. <laughs> What's that meant to be? Something that uh, proves I'm a big game hunter, perhaps? Well, it reminds me a bit of a high-precision blowpipe for small game hunting. And elephants? Ha! <laughs> if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Professionals hunt. You need something like a high-precision, much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts and blowpipes and bees for the nerve poison. Blowpipe, darts, bees. Got it. So let's have a... Those are good bees. Just right for a high precision blowpipe. But I'd only give something like. The rat ate my hunting license. Why the long face? You used your hunting license to catch a rat. That's what it's for. And small animals are tricky. Even professionals will resort to high precision blowpipes for them. Why would I need more proof? You are a genuine, dyed in the wool big game hunter. Really? Of course. You can borrow the elephant gun anytime you like. Wow, thanks. And when I'm finished grilling here, we can share hunting tales. We'll plait rabbit feet into our hair and compare hunting scars. Eh, too bad. I already have plans. Can I borrow your elephant gun? Well, now that you're a big game hunter too, of course. Why not? Just be careful with that. Too late. You already said.
could make a great flow gun out of that. If I had enough time and peace and finally go maybe I should Hey, I could make a great blow gun out of that. If I had enough time and peace and finally maybe I should What's that meant to be? Part of a high precision. <laughs> Let the expert. That's a decent dart. Just right for a high. As soon as you bring me the rest. What's that meant to be? Part of a high precision blow. <laughs> Let the expert. As a blowpipe, it's a pretty miserable example. But it would probably do for a talented big game hunter. As soon as you bring me the rest, I'll give you your blowpipe. What's that meant? Part of a high let. Those are good bees. Just right for a high pursuit. Now we've got everything together. Here is your blowpipe. Have fun with it. I would have done better, but not bad for a start. I would have done better. 